Hi, my name is Holly Cheek and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In today's video, I will be going over how to dissolve a subassembly and how to create a new subassembly within the assembly environment in SolidWorks. I have an assembly already open. And I'm going to be focusing on my subassembly here, this wheel and axle. I can select that top level subassembly in the Feature Manager design tree and I'll see the entire subassembly highlight in blue with the different components that are in this subassembly. If I need some of these components to be at my top level, I can right click that subassembly and I'm going to select Dissolve Subassembly. And I'll see all of those components come to that top level. If I need components to go into a subassembly, I can shift select or control select the ones I need, right click, and select form new subassembly. Then I will get a new subassembly with the four components that I just had selected. The mates that were associated to those components to one another come over into that subassembly as well. The subassembly is now a virtual part, meaning that this subassembly doesn't have its own assembly file, therefore it's virtual. So I can right click this and save assembly in external file, and I'll also want to rename the assembly. So I'll rename and then probably the save assembly in external file. You can add more components to a subassembly with a click and drag, such as this cross template. Just left click, hold, and then drag over the name of the subassembly I want to add it to, so this assembly 4. If I drop it, I will then see that component get absorbed into that assembly 4 subassembly, that cross template there. In today's video, we went over how to create subassemblies and how to dissolve subassemblies in the assembly environment in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.